Hey everybody, Mr. Dave here. Welcome to Bowtie Studios and Hole in the Wall Studio. We're here in Montgomery, Massachusetts, and this is where all the magic happens. This is where I have most of my puppets. This is where I film almost all of the puppet show, but we'll get into that a little later. Ah, so let me show you around a little bit. So this is where I do most of my work. You can see I've got my umbrella lights. So here you can see my main camera. That is a Canon Rebel T5i. Over here is my B cam. That is a Rebel T3i. Um, and you can see my umbrella lights. And in the back, you can actually see the main working space of Hole in the Wall Studios, which is the production and social media company that I use to help promote the show. Hey, I am AJ Kiernan, owner operator of Hole in the Wall Studios and partner with Bowtie Studios. I also happen to be Dave's sister. <laughs> um, what we do here really is we are a promotion company. We love building other people up. So I'll do everything from social media website work, to taking photos during studio shoots. Um, I will hold puppets if need be. And, and sometimes I get to stand in with puppets, which is a lot of fun. Um, and I am also kind of the seeker of things. I found a location to come here. Um, and you know, we're hooking up with a lot of people in the U S and in Canada, thanks to Mr. Dave and the show taking off the way it has. Um, fun time is definitely my number one biggest client and passion project. I love children's theater. Dave and I have shared a love of the Muppets from the time we were walking and talking. Um, so this really is a dream come true for me as a company and um, as a sister and as a fellow puppeteer. Um, I can't think of any job that I would rather be doing than working here at Hole in the Wall with Bowtie Studios. Down here you can see my television monitor that I use on the A cam so I can see my puppet performance as well as my performance as Mr. Dave. And over here, you can see Arnold. He's uh, my co-star there on his stand down there. We'll be talking to him a little later too. Um, behind the light, you can see the costume rack for the various characters that I play, like Grump, the half-giant, and Mr. A. Wolf, and the Professor Bear, and all sorts of other characters. And actually, in this shot, you get to see an unsung hero. This here, this is my friend, Ballhead. Ballhead, he, he doesn't get much in the way of actual camera time, um, but he is in front of the camera almost as much as I am. This is what I use to focus my cameras because DSLRs are notoriously bad with autofocus on video, which is what I use it for. This guy, you can see this line right here is right at my eye level. I put this on my mark on the floor. I've got a blue mark on the floor made with painter's tape and I focus nice and tight up on this area of ball head and put in focus on my mark. And then when I move him out of the way, I stand on my mark and I'm in focus. I do the same thing with the puppets because when I'm down on my knees, look at that, isn't that convenient? Yep, my arm is just long enough to, uh, to be at eye level for ball head here and Mr. Dave, so I know that when I'm doing tight shots on puppets, that I am in focus if Ballhead is in focus there too. So yeah, Ballhead, really, really big help. Originally I got him, he was gonna be, I was gonna carve him out for a puppet, but then I thought, I need something for focusing. $2 ball at Walmart on a stand. This is a, a light stand from one of my light kits that I don't use and uh, works really well. On the other side, I just have a piece of paper here and I use this for white balancing the cameras if I'm in weird lighting situations. However, I've noticed with the Canons, the auto white balance works really well. And I've had a lot less trouble with my white balance since I've just decided to leave it on auto because me trying to do it myself, yeah, some inconsistencies. So yeah, this is ball head. And if you guys do any filming of any kind, I highly recommend getting yourself something similar. And now the paintings that are here in the studio, they're both very important to me. They're both very special to me. This is a hand-painted watercolor by a friend of mine named Tabitha. And when I was just getting started with the show, 
Um, she was inspired and painted this for me, and it's a ukulele with rainbow music and notes and stuff coming out. And uh, this was in my room for a very long time. And then when I started when I started design, designing the set for the show when I moved out of the libraries, I'm like, I want to have this in there. So there it is. And this one is another important one to me. This my son drew back in for season three, I believe, when uh, Captain, his character, was first introduced. This is the treasure map that he drew for me that Captain held in the episode. And I knew that I wanted it to be a part of the permanent set because it's... Um, you know, my son, he just he just drew a quick up a quick dirty treasure map for me, and I, I love it, and I framed it, and it's been a part of the set ever since. So that's the majority of what I have here at Bowtie Studios and Hole in the Wall Studio. However, I would be remiss in not talking about my first studio, which was actually my front living room. The original studio was there was a bookcase, and those photos were on the back. And it was a tight squeeze, a tight space. But when we got this space here, me and Hole in the Wall, it was really cool, very exciting, a lot more space, a lot more room to work with. But I realized that I wasn't entirely free of the house. So I built the mini studio. Hey, we're in my living room now. Check this out. studio and you can see I mean I did a quick job with the uh, setting up the lights but it's pretty hard to tell the difference between the other two from the other studio in fact if you look here I even put a piece of trim and painted the bottom of the wall in a small section of my wall here so I could match the studio as closely as possible the mini studio is for when I've left the studio and I have something that I needed to film or if a shot didn't come out quite right or if um, I had an idea when I was editing that would work really well, I can set up really quickly in my living room and make the mini studio so I can add in what I need to add in. In fact, I've taken so much care of making sure I have everything I need in both locations, this isn't even the same outfit. This is actually a spare. A spare shirt and a spare bow tie and a spare Mr. Dave hat that I keep here at the house just in case. That way you don't have to travel back and forth. However, I don't have spare ukuleles, but they're fairly portable, so it's not such a big deal. Now, let's go back to Bowtie Studios. Oh, yeah, this shot is portable. Hello? Hmm. Oh, well, what you can... What the... What can you do? Hello! I am Arnold the Slug, and I am Mr. Dave's co-star here on Fun Time with Mr. Dave. Hmm. I am Slug. I was fabricated by the amazing Eric Weiss of Home Slice Puppetry. Go check him out. Mm. Um, yeah, other than that, I was the first puppet on the show. I used to be much smaller. I was a sock puppet with ping pong balls duct taped to my head. <laughs> but I have evolved. That's all I have to say. Oh, here, hi, here it is, I see it. Hi, my name's Harold. I am a human puppet. Mm. I was made, this is actually my fourth face. Mm -hmm. And I was built by Mr. Dave himself. However, I'm excited that I'm having a new version of me built by the amazing Eric Weiss. Same guy who built Arnold over there. So you can look forward to that really soon. Um... I'm the head librarian in the show, and uh, I also my job is also to introduce guest stars, which uh, all of you could be one. So uh, hmm, definitely, definitely uh, contact Dave there and uh, see if that's something you'd like to be. It's a family show, as you know, so it could be a lot of fun. Hmm. Hmm. I uh. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really have much else to say, so. Uh, Bye. Oh, hello. 
my name's Percy. I'm a dragon. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm the newest member of Funtime with Mr. Dave. I live in a cave with uh, Jeremiah Rock. Yeah. And, uh, hmm, let's see. I, I really like, uh, I really like role-playing games, and, uh, I like playing my new, uh, pocket saxophone. That's a lot of fun. Uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm, in, I'm an important character, uh, I was told, because I, I, I'm on the autism spectrum. I, I, I'm, I'm high-functioning, and I have sensory issues, so, uh, I guess it's good to have a character on the show that can show those things to, uh, kids who may feel a little different, or, uh, you know, might have a little trouble navigating through life because of things that like that. I've, I've become quite accustomed to talking on camera, but, uh, I'm still, I'm still not great in social situations, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's me in a nutshell. So, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 I do want to mention that I am the first puppet that Mr. Dave ever made that was comprised almost completely from materials purchased at Puppet Pelts. Yeah, Puppet Pelts in Indian Orchard, Massachusetts. Arnold did a really cool interviewee tour thing there with, uh, yeah, that was, that was really cool. I really liked that episode, which I watched after I was built, because if you look in the background, yeah, Maurice Mom, she's cutting my skin. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the material that, that is made, that, that made me. Yeah, so, uh, that's, that's pretty exciting. It's kind of like, it's kind of like watching my birth or something, which is, I can imagine would be really traumatic for somebody, but, uh, because I'm a puppet, it's a little less traumatic. That was awkward. Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna go now. Thanks. Okay, so every time I'm Mr. Dave, the character, when I do a show, whether it be live or if it be on video like this, I sing a song to say goodbye. So first of all, thank you guys so much for joining me on my tour of Bowtie Studios and Hole in the Wall Studio. Um, please check out my YouTube station, give it a subscribe, a follow, and uh, check out all the fun videos and the great works of puppetry we do. I mean, I do hand puppet, I do, I've done, we've done hand puppet, we've done mask puppet, we've done rod puppetry, um, we've had shadow puppet guests, I haven't done shadow puppet yet myself, but hey, you never know. But uh, regardless, thank you guys for joining me here today. Now, I've got one more song for you. My favorite way to say goodbye is not goodbye to you. Not adios, arrivederci, sayonara, or adieu. My favorite way to say goodbye, the best way that I knew. My favorite way to say goodbye is to say that I love you. See you next time, puppet peeps. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Dave the Entertainer.